Hello and welcome. Looks like we are live. Okay, so here I am and we will be playing a little bit of Slay the Spire this evening. Hopefully just like a couple runs. Nothing super crazy. No incredible Slay the Spire marathons going on. I should probably turn the volume down. I'm kind of blasting that Slay the Spire music. I'm not saying it's not good. I just want the uh, audio mix to be better. Anyway, so I think we're on, you know, Ascensions, so we'll just start here with the Ironclad, and we'll see what we can do. I mean, I always feel like the Ironclad is the easiest character, but that doesn't mean I'm good at him, you know? I love doing this, but, I mean, this is a little, it's a little zany. We can hit, like, there's the possibility for early shops basically everywhere. Oh, God, the shiny elite is up here. We could totally take him, though. Look, we could go down this way. Yeah, so we could take this early shop, take that elite, and then just just proceed as planned. Okay, so we'll take this. And yeah, we have shame, but we'll get rid of it up at this shop here really soon. So we'll take this path. Um, oh, good, good. Uh, we've, we've started off with shame in our hand. I mean, I suppose that's fair. We did just pick up shame, so perhaps this is... Uh, this is why. I mean, it kind of feels like there's no real point in blocking now. We're going to heal six, so if we can kill him this turn... Uh, if we can kill him this turn, then we'll be good to go. Which I think it's possible. Look at that. Look at us go. See, this is so hard, though. You know, trying to figure, like, what... What I... You know, what direction I want to go in already? I mean, I don't know. I'm interested in Hemokinesis. I guess we could take it. It's blue. It's an uncommon card. Wow, we're just, we're very full of shame, huh? I mean, I know it's a 12 card deck, right? So the odds of getting it are fairly high, but at the same time, I'm not playing Hemokinesis yet. Maybe I should have, but, uh, oh, well, now we'll be aggro no matter what, because there's no other choice. Okay, I'm kind of glad I didn't, well, maybe I, maybe I do wish I'd played Hemo, because then we wouldn't have taken that damage. Anyway, listen, oh god, it's so early. I know, I know what you're thinking. You're like, we should get Flame Barrier, right? And you're right, you're right. But we could get Rampage and then run the thinnest imaginable deck. I know, we're not off to a great start on that. But, um, you know. That, that's it. I have no excuse for my behavior. Okay, so we'll Hemokinesis this one to death. And then we'll Rampage and still do a little bit of damage with that strike. Nothing too fancy, but at least we're, we're trucking along. Now, don't be... Don't be... Oh, you know what? We should take a True Grit. Because then we can exhaust cards, right? Okay, first of all, we gotta get rid of this shame. There's just... We can't... We can't live with this kind of shame, you know what I mean? But... What we do need... Okay, meal ticket's not horrible. We can afford an expensive relic and we actually weren't offered any of them. Which hurts a little bit. I can tell you the truth about that one. <sighs> so I'm gonna take Combust. I'm gonna take Combust. I'm interested in taking Flame Barrier. So I guess I'll do that too, and hell, we'll do this. I'm just worried that we're not gonna take enough blocks. Because what I'm thinking we can do is we can kind of set ourselves up here for something like, um... Something like a like a like a rampage deck, right? But then we can look for items that will kind of synergize with like self damage because we have combust and hemokinesis, and so that's kind of that's where I'm going with that, and what I'm hoping we'll get from it. What what makes the most sense here? Let's try this, see what we get. Okay, nice. So let's just do this. We basically don't really deal much damage this turn, but oh, I wish he wouldn't. You know? Okay. We should definitely be able to kill him next turn. I know he'll be blocking, but this should be... Wow, let's not play Hemokinesis unnecessarily. I mean, that's really a good way to impress them, maybe, though. Fire breathing is really nice for when you get... I mean, if we're running a thin deck, but with 15 cards, we're not running a thin deck, you know? I'll take fire breathing, but that's it, okay? We're just, we're cutting ourselves off after this, okay? No more, no more of these impulse buys. I mean, Hemo is probably a really good, that's a really strong starting turn, but, but, oh no, oh no, oh no, okay, well, 
probably not the strongest smarting, starting hand. I was trying to get through some of our, uh, these bad boys, you know? Oh, God. So this will never do anything, because we'll never draw statuses or curses. I'll just go ahead and start taking some damage, even though this will be a... F well, let's be real. It's the logable one. If it is a long fight, we're already hosed, right? Maybe this is a time for this. Okay, just kind of mitigate some of that damage, since we're already dealing self-damage. I'm just not trying to... I'm not trying to impress the Log of Woolen with how much damage we can take, you know? Okay, so we can definitely kill it this turn, even with the additional weakness that it's given us. Okay, Shovel is, like, insane. Uh, double tap? I mean, we have to. I know what I said, and I know we're at 17. Okay, just, just listen. Just listen. Okay, we couldn't afford to take a curse. This deck is already too thick. So we take this, that's pretty good as far as, you know, things we could have drawn were concerned. Well, should I guess just block? But this is nice because, you know, we're dealing a little bit of damage and it's nice and even. Okay, so we're not ever going to draw any curses or anything. Let's see what it exhausts. Okay. Well, and then we can Hemo. And I guess get working on this one. I mean, because, you know, hopefully we can kill them all at the same time. They're sort of like the lifelink guys. Except somehow, in my opinion, mildly worse. Okay, so we killed that one. And we may as well kill this one, too. And then now we just have this one. So we need to obviously try to block its attacks. So maybe I should do this. I was hoping it would hit Combust. It didn't. But, you know, that's how Slay the Spire works. You know, you shouldn't... It's sort of like the opposite of, like, the principle behind the secret. You know what I mean? It's like, uh, if you put those thoughts out into the universe, then, um, you're not gonna get it. Okay. Let's be, let's be reasonable. We're not hoping to add anything else to the deck, so unfortunately I'm gonna take a Sapphire Key. And I say unfortunately because, God, I have no desire to fight the heart on these ascensions. Like, I'm barely scraping by as it is for some frickin' reason. Okay. So we could upgrade our rampart, rampage, which we're never going to, like, see again because of how long it's taking me to do this. Let's just, let's just dig. Okay, let's just dig. It's what we all want to do, okay? You, you all are sitting there at home screaming it, so it's your fault. That's what I'm saying. So we'll play this, and this, and then we could just Hemo. See, this is why you should never take these self-damaging cards like this, because how are you supposed to, like, control yourself? You can't. You can't be held accountable for this. Uh, hmm. You know, I, I played, I mean, I was going to do double tap to kill this one, but then this one's going to, like, it hit me much harder. I guess I'll just do this. That has to be, like, the weirdest and possibly worst way to play it, or I guess most aggressively neutral way to play it. It felt pretty weird, but in this case, we can probably kill them. You know, both next turn. Yeah, look at that. Okay, we gotta thin out this deck. 17 cards, Jesus Christ, well, what was I thinking? Sever Soul could, could make something work, but no, okay? Just no. This is useless. They're all useless. This is the world's worst starting hand. Oh my god. Okay. This is painful. Yeah, it is. I mean, I just, I don't want to take any more damage, but this is such a high damage card for us. And, you know, I need to get him, you know, done as quickly as possible here. I'm scooting my mouse pad around over there. Clearly, I'm far too riled in the situation. Uh, we can't play double tap. We just got to do this. I mean, that's nice. I'm not taking any damage for that turn. And that turn alone, mind you, but... Oh... I mean, so I could upgrade the cards. Would they then do enough damage? I guess we could try it. Yep, it would. Okay, well, that's what it took. Preserved Insect is nice. A second Rampage is, like, a weirdly stupid idea, but we could do it. Uh, it increases our chances of getting a Rampage, but okay. So this isn't what I was hoping for out of my question mark. I feel completely comfortable being honest with you about that one. This is horrible. This is, this is the worst. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, Combust is a, is a great find here. And you know what? We can Explosive Potion. Take out some of these bad boys. Is this the start of your turn? It's the end of your turn. So I would kill those two. So if we do this, 
Then we should take no damage now, because they shall die. Okay. Weird way to play things, but we did it. Okay, we're fighting the Logavolin, but it's a teeny Logavolin this time. And this time, by Jove, okay, we're going to do things right. So, you know, oh, he's got, like, extra metallicized, that's cute. In case we decide we want to wake him up next turn. And no, no downside to playing that bash, it's not like, you know, it's going to exhaust or something. Okay, horrible, horrible draw. So it'll wake up next turn, right? Which means, who knows what we're getting this draw. I mean, obviously the two powers that I was hoping to draw much earlier just to get them out of our hand. Cool. I mean, suffering is, is really great. You know, that's, that's pretty nice. Uh, hmm. We'll obviously take a flame barrier, and I guess we'll go ahead and take a rampage. In, in a way, it's like the deck is working. It's it's not working, in case you were curious, but it's almost like if I hadn't stuffed the deck full of garbage, uh, we wouldn't be in this position. It's almost like that, but probably not. You know, probably like your eyes are deceiving you or something. Uh, okay, so obviously in order to get this done, we have to hemo, which is, let's say, less than I another rampage. Quit tempting me. I mean, it, it feels like it makes sense. It doesn't make sense. We have to sleep. Okay, we don't have pantograph or anything like that. We just, we gotta sleep and we gotta get rolling on in here. Okay. Uh, oh. Lantern. Nice. Thanks, Lantern. Okay. So, it's one away from rolling over this turn. Which is, you know, thank God. Because we really, we can't afford to take any other kind of hits there. Perfect. And it's not like we're gonna break that block with anything else. So, you know, I stand by my play is what I'm trying to say. That's probably not the, like, the right way to do that. Okay, that's perfect. If, if such things could really be called that. Okay, we'll block. Oh, God, I guess we'll combust, and then we won't play anything else. Okay, we're taking enough damage as it is. It's not like we're gonna deal 40 this turn, you know? It's 220. Wish it wasn't. Huh. Okay, well, apparently, you know, my wish is slay the Spire's Command. I feel like, you know, I, I want to, like, knock on wood here just because I'm like, oh, God, I will be punished for this statement. So, um, you know, buckle up. Get ready for us to be punished for me being like, oh, yeah, the game totally bends to my will. Okay. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not particularly good at Slay the Spire either, I suppose, which doesn't help, I would say. Okay. So that's pretty good. I mean, like, the Rampage is actually kind of paying dividends. Again, it would be paying more dividends if we're gonna heal the fall, right? Because we're not we're not to that ascension level yet where they where they punish you. So it's not horrible. See now this is horrible, right? Because we have to I guess we could defend rampage true grit. Yeah, that way there was just no chance that it hit the rampage. Not that it really matters. I mean, when you look at this, we're gonna we're gonna make it through just fine. Woohoohoo! Look at us go. Okay. Okay, we're not taking Emily. That's dumb. Brutality's interesting. Offering is of course interesting. I'm, I'm gonna skip all of them. I know. I know. We should take Black Star here. I know that Sacred Bark is okay, but we already have Preserved Insect. I think that this is this is the synergy we've been waiting for. Mm-hmm. That's right. Okay, so we got a little bit of money. We can hit a shop, um, and I wouldn't be, like, mad about it. We can try to hit these elites. God knows, you know, I, I don't know how to take them, but there's a lot of question marks on this board. Do you see that? Okay, so we need to... I don't know. It would be best if we found one where we could get ourselves in a slightly better position for success. You understand. Okay, so we'll go up this way, I guess. So we go up here, right? We hit this elite. We hit this elite. If, if things are really hitting the fan, we hit this campfire. Maybe we hit this campfire anyway so we can dig. And then we can pivot and go up here to that elite. Yeah, I should have really been looking for, like, maximum campfires, which, you know, is kind of a... It's a coward's way out, but coward strats win me Apex games. So, like, I'm not, I'm not complaining. Okay. Oh god, I had an extra energy. Oh god, sweet baby Jesus, the misplays. Okay, so we'll do this. We're not going to draw status or curse cards is the thing. So, like, it just feels like, you know what, and with Aura Chalcum, 
Oh, God. Yeah, yeah, mm-hmm. It pains me to watch myself play, you know? But but thank you all for your sacrifice in watching me. Um, God. Okay, so double tap rampage is not a horrible situation to find ourselves in. And we could hemo. We could and should hemo, I think. Okay, excellent. I'm not powering through. <laughs> I mean, I'm barely <laughs> scraping by as it is, you know? Oh, God, Paper Frog is so nice. And we bash sometimes. I kind of feel like it's worth it. I know, I know. Whenever we rest, we should not be adding any cards in our deck. You know it, I know it. We should probably just, you know, make a pact here. Let's remove something. I don't really want to strike. Okay. So, it'd be great if we could get, like, uh, the, the ceramic mask. You know, the, the one that has the merchant's face on it. Which is kind of weird. Like, are we threatening him? Is that is that kind of what the vibe is there? Uh, so we will be probably getting curses or whatever from her. And I'm down for taking a little bit of damage. Mostly because I don't have too much of a choice in the matter. But, you know, if I pretend like I was okay with it, it makes it better. So we'll do that. And then I'll just strike. I'm not trying to, I'm not trying to lose any more HP than we're going to have to in this fight. So yeah, like, let's just go ahead... And, like, who cares if she fills our deck up? Because we're just gonna, we're gonna breathe fire right at her. See, look, there we go. Uh, not enough fire. But don't worry. It's called cheating, sweetie, look it up. Uh, power potions are really, you know, not, not saving me here. But, okay, spell weakness is tempting, it is. But it, it's not like we have, like, an incredible power set. Pantograph! I wanted Pantograph earlier! Mmm. Delightful to find, though. <sighs> okay. Listen. I know what you're thinking. Okay. Burning Pact and Flex, huh? Okay, exhausting a card is not a bad situation for us to find ourselves in. Let's just dig. I mean, look, if we're doing good enough by the time we get to the boss that we're like, oh, you know, the, the third floor boss? Assuming we make it to the third floor boss? <laughs> uh, that's a useless thing to play, huh? I guess we'll, we'll go for this one. No big deal. Like, they'll be dead before we know it, okay? I mean, assuming that, I don't know, uh, we close our eyes and then just try to, like, sleep through the rest of it, then it'll happen before we know it. Okay. Yeah, I thought he might die. I, I'm not always the best at doing this math in my head, but in this case, it all, it all panned out. Uh, so if we hit this one twice it's not going to be enough to kill him right so like i'm just gonna i'm just gonna do this yes it was enough to kill him oh we paper frog paper frog yes i'm a frog we got paper frog it's like a synergy a frog synergy it's it's totally a real thing don't question that okay so that should be enough to you know take no damage we're obviously not oh god oh god Oh, God. Okay, yeah, let's do this. Oh, God. Oh, sweet Jesus. I can't believe how bad that was. And, I mean, we killed him with a smiling mask. Hey, I just asked for that. Man, I'm being punished in a weird kind of way, huh? I mean, I'm interested in another true grit. It's not like we really block enough, but... Oh, I'm so tempted. I mean, upgrading all strikes and defense is good. It, it is, but I, I'm gonna do this. You know I am. I guess I'm just gonna take a strike? I was thinking I would take a defend, so I don't know if I'm really making the right calls here. Oh god. I, I guess, I don't know. I guess we should start with combust. I mean, I'm kind of torn there, because I like getting the other one out of the way. But, okay. Well, this is, this is nice, in a way. Because, yeah, I can double tap. And then, oh, but it has to be this one. I mean, it has to, because otherwise it's just a waste on these. I don't know, let's drink another another one of these. Sure, I guess I'll take a second combust. We got Toy Ornithopter helping us out with that meager little bonus there, but at least it's doing something. Wow, that really, that really hurt. Maybe I shouldn't have been trying to maximize my resources there. Oh, we have Paper Frog. Oh, God, now we really... We're really on a timer with, uh, Combust, huh? 
Okay, I definitely should have gotten rid of another defend. I thought about it earlier, and then, you know, we didn't do it, but we should have. We absolutely should have. I have, I have no questions about it now. Okay, so that's 7 damage. This is 9 damage. If we do this, and then this, then he will hit us like a truck next turn. Which is not very good. I have fire breathing? I thought I got a second combust. Am I- am I dumb? I'm dumb, huh? That's a real shame about being dumb, but I mean, I guess everybody finds that out at some point. Uh, okay. So I don't want to die this turn. Um, we could combust like crazy. Okay, put an attack from your draw pile into your hand. What do we have? We could put a rampage in there. And then this plus the combusts that we play should should be enough. Right? Yeah, wow. Um, that was- that was dangerous. That was dangerous and bad. Yeah, that's what I have to say about that. I kind of like feel no pain, but what I really like is resting at this campfire. <laughs> okay, so things have gone very badly, so we'll pivot to that elite. Oh good, I hope he doesn't stab us. I mean, that's- that's what most contestants say on Wheel of Fortune, isn't it? Oh good, I hope he doesn't stab me. Um, okay, so we got a relic, we got bronze scales. I don't think I've ever had, like, a run that's so, like, damned, and yet has this many relics. Like, we're doing very good on relics, you know, thanks to Black Star and Preserved Insect and stuff, but, like, holy baby Jesus, are we not doing well. Okay. I don't even remember what Ascension 2 does, either. Probably, like, makes elites more deadly or something. I mean, that's what sounds right to me. God, I don't know, Combust seems dumb. I say as I play it, but I mean, what else am I going to do, you know? At least we have thorns now. Thorns with Book of Stabbing is very, very good. So, I guess I'll just exhaust my hemo. <laughs> Exhausting my blood is kind of what I'm doing here. Like it or not, you know? Um, well, of course, Flame Barrier, and I'm completely comfortable with this. I probably should have exhausted the wound. You know, that is, that is how this goes in terms of survival. Mm, there we go. Okay. Man, there's no point. I can't even play that defend. Man, this is a weird one. Just such a strange combat. Like, the whole thing. Okay, meat on the bone is nice. I wish that it would apply right now. Please don't be combat. Oh, God. I couldn't even get the words out of my mouth before it turned out it was combat. God. Okay, well. I'm gonna double tap a bash and I guess we'll do it on this one so that this can apply and you know what I mean we can wipe it off the board right now is this dangerous and weird and terrible like absolutely of course I don't understand why I gained strength maybe it was just vi Vira that doesn't make any sense no that doesn't make any sense um hmm well we're intangible so that's nice uh didn't do like a whole lot for us since we had a lot of blocks that turn. Oh man. It's uh it's rough out here, man. I tell you what. So we can block more than we would block from the other thing. And fire breathing is really like it's turned out to be extremely niche. I'm a little disappointed in it. Uh I guess I could exhaust a strike, which probably wasn't a smart play anyway. I don't know what I was looking for. I think I thought it was free. Which sounds like me. Uh, so we could double tap. I think the thing is, I think we die here unless I smoke bomb. So we're just going to smoke bomb and leave. Which is really unique. Uh, that almost never happens. So Pandagraph is heal 25. Do we feel comfortable going into this fight with 56? God, I'm down. I'm down for it. And I guess I just dig. Bottled lightning. Start with a double tap, maybe? And then now all we have to do is, like, pray that we get a, a rampage in our hand with the first, you know, five that we draw outside of that. Okay. So, like, obviously it didn't go like I hoped it would. When, when does it, you know? But he's got four stacks of vulnerable, which of course, thanks to Paper Frog, is, is doing something for us. 
Um, hmm. Well, I mean, we'll, we'll be doing that, obviously. And I guess I should have true gridded. Hmm. Yeah, it's, it's, these are tough questions. Mostly, I'm just trying not to die. Okay, this isn't a horrible turn for intangible. This is an excellent turn to get a double tap, though. That, it's, oh, okay, a horrible turn to realize that you didn't play flex before you did that. Yeah, bad turn for that. Yeah, we'll combust as well. I mean, yeah, it whittles away our health, and yes, our health is extremely precious, but... And I'm gonna end my sentence right there, like, but... And then just, just let it, let it ride, you know? Uh, sadly, I think we have to kill this guy here. I mean, I wouldn't, I don't really want to, but... If this is what we gotta do, it's what we gotta do, so we'll keep it up. Hmm... Yeah, that's not super cash money of him. Let's exhaust this and see if we get something better. Okay, I mean, I like a flame barrier. I don't like him still being alive, though. I mean, if we wipe 12 off the board, we immediately, like, deal more block than that, right? And then we can still, like, true grit. Which was stupid, because we have Aura Chalcum, so we shouldn't have true gritted. But hey, at least I got, I got something out there that was, um... Yeah, look at that. Even weakened, it's not the worst. Okay. What do you think the collector collects? Is it just like souls or something? I mean, he's got like a really giant, like, you know, bird throne. He's got, of course, the bird earrings for the bird throne. You know, that, that sort of vibe. I wonder if we'll ever not be weakened again. Um, so I think we just die here, right? Because there's no way to kill these guys. And then that's just too much damage, you know, to survive. Okay, painful, of course. Desecrated went the wrong way. That is what it feels like. Hey, we unlocked Havoc. Oh, neat, we didn't have that as an option. Oh, Exhumed didn't exist either. Wow, okay, so that whole, like, maybe I'll make an exhaust build thing was just kind of cursed, huh? Okay, so, listen, let's, like, let's improve our spirits and also our prospects at survival by running the daily. Also the Ironclad, so we're sticking with, a, like, a good theme. Um, but we got Time Dilation, Shiny, and Night Terrors, so, you know. And really, who's ever going to need to rest? I mean, come on. Okay, so... I mean, this seems easy. We'll take the question mark path up. We'll hit this elite. There's only... You can only possibly get two elites, though. That's lame. We could go for it. Okay, we'll go for two elites, then. You talked me into it. I mean, with time dilation... Oh, Jesus. I forgot that this one, even though it sounds very positive, can be a little less positive. Huh. Well, I guess, I guess we can block and we can immolate. And I'm not, I'm not really trying to be vulnerable, even, even though the energy is nice. Maybe we wind up having to take that pretty often. I mean, I can kind of see it because, okay, that's cheap. I mean, sure, it gives us, it's, it's keeping with the gambling theme as well, you know? We never have any control over what's happening, and that's how we like it, by God. So, obviously, a Double Tap Reaper is nice. It's not even enough to kill this thing, though. So, skill? Then we couldn't play anything else. This is horrible. I think, like, the Double Tap Reapers is genuinely, like, probably the best play there, and we don't even have any health to, to you know, recover. Excellent. Love seeing something terrible go down for us there. Okay, we can do this, and then we could offering if we don't want to take this damage. And who would want to take that damage, you know? Okay, perfect. Hmm. We could inflame, but we already have, like, a demon form, right? Although the odds of us ever being able to play it are fairly low. I don't know. Like, uppercut is kind of nice and, like, agnostically good. So I don't hate it. But... Listen, I know what you're thinking. You're thinking only get practical cards. You know, quit doing this. Quit doing this. You beg, but I won't listen. Okay, so... I mean, I don't know. I just... It's like, I think in my mind before we start that I'm going to, like, do something really rational. You know, like, this is the time I'm going to be responsible. I'm not just going to take cards that I like or find interesting. You know, I'm going to take cards that make sense. 
Anyway, and then I don't do that. I, like, don't do that at all. Okay, we heal a little bit. We heal six, and then we heal for six at the end of this. So, you know, it would be nice if we didn't let it do any damage to us. What have we exhausted? We've exhausted Reaper. I could exhume and Reaper. Wow, it worked out. Man, I don't think I don't think it's gonna do that very much normally. I'm gonna skip that card because I just I don't know. Because I have no taste. I think that's really like that's the reason if you were looking for the truth. Let's see if we can get anything we can use this time. It'll split, right? And we could feed just to like, you know, do this. And we could throw a feed back into our hand so that there's, you know, the theoretical chance that we get Reaper at a time we can... Not Reaper. That's not what I meant, but that is what I said. And now I would kind of like that Reaper, but... 10 damage? Listen. I don't, I don't get out of bed for stuff like that. Okay, so let's keep going. Um, well, no barricade is necessary. Oh, 15 is not enough, huh? I guess I just do this, and we do 17, and then I'm, like, sad about the fact that I'm taking 17 damage at the end of this turn, like some kind of actual maniac. I mean, what am I doing? Just standing there as the slimes, like, basically consume me? Anyway, this is what I mean. We never, like, you know, you're not gonna get lucky in a 19-card deck with finding your feed. This shockwave seems nice, but I just, I don't really want any more expensive cards. Okay, so now we have the opportunity for setup turns. How exciting is a setup turn, huh? Uh, we could Juggernaut. And we could Berserk, and then we'll just not wake it up next turn. And then I think it'll be over, right? Now we have Demon Form, which is cool. And we'll take Inflame as well. And so the next turn, you know, the battle will start and we will be so ready. Oh yeah, quite ready indeed. Okay, uh, we could Fiend Fire. Double tap Fiend Fire is kind of useless. Um, I'll just double tap Reaper, I guess. And then we'll just prepare to, you know, take some hits. Oh well. Okay, so we can always immolate. Oh, exciting. Uh, not like we could always immolate. We simply will immolate as there is no other option. That 12 strength up um, on turn like 6 or whatever is pretty nice though. Oh god, I'm so tempted to take offerings see if we get feed. But listen, let's, again, like I said, you know, we're going to be responsible. Wow, this has to be like the cheapest perfected stripe ever. I mean like, you know, it, not like a, in terms of, like it's a good deal. I'm saying it's a horrible deal. You get me. I'm interested in sleeping. I'm interested in it. It seems nice. But listen, if we didn't sleep, we could upgrade, right? And we could upgrade something like, you know, I was thinking Infernal Blade to make it like really cheap because we have so many other expensive cards. Oh, I don't know if that's like, you know, the very best play you could ever make, but you know, I guess I could bludgeon, right? And then let one of them just hit me like a truck. I mean, kidding. We're just going to, we're going to take this. And then, oh yeah, for sure. For sure everything will go smoothly. I mean, it kind of did. It kind of did actually go according to plan there, which is disturbing to be sure. We'll take an armaments because we don't really have any other block. Uh, question card is good, but I'm massively underrated. So like I'm already sighing about it. Uh, we're not really gonna gain any block, I guess. Let's just... Give me bludgeon again. I know it's not possible, we'll just do it. Give me bludgeon again. So we'll do this. Okay, Rampage was probably the worst thing we could have gotten. Which is... It's always neat, you know, when you when you find yourself getting, like, the worst possible draw. So we'll do this. I don't want to take any damage. And we'll feed, because I would like to just get more damage out there. So we're looking at... 21. Oh, hang on, hang on. 7 times 4 is 28. Just still not enough to kill him. So we could then play the potion. So we could do this, and then we could just, like, hope that we get anyone. Wow. 
All right, so we hoped. We hoped we got any kind of attack card, and we didn't. So he really, he really did kind of hose us on that one. Good for him, I guess. I mean, I don't know, a cleave? So we can do some damage sometimes? Oh, God, that's right. This is Night Terrors. I was like, yeah, what's the harm in that? Okay, well, we got Juzu Bracelet, which maybe will save us later. All right. Armaments Plus is pretty good. Let's see. Oh, yeah. Look, it's three lice. How bad could it be? Usually, like, school children get, like, hundreds of lice. And, like, they're fine. So, I mean, obviously, we could take these, these, you know? We're adults and, like, some kind of, I don't know, demon-possessed, cursed guy. So, clearly, we're going to be fine. So then we could exhaust all these cards and we could take out, you know, one of them. I guess this one. Oh, and we got an armament. I mean, sure, it upgraded our hand of nothing. But, bingo, we're done there. Excellent. You know, in a way, it was, like, so clever and smart to totally, you know, shave off 5 max HP. Because now, oh, we don't have that pesky 5 HP, like, bringing us down. And we're at max HP. Too easy, that's what they always tell me. Okay, so this lets us choose, you know, our, our true grit situation, which I think might pay dividends for us in the future. Or maybe not, I don't know. Perhaps it will turn out to be useless and we'll die right here, badly. With the Hexaghost. You know, you can only hope. Uh, let's try this. Okay, a clothesline is nice. There's no... Oh, there is a double tap. Well, I mean, if you insist. Keep it weak for four turns, that might be worth something. And we could take this impervious. And we will be impervious, too, to this damage, which is sick. I am quite pleased to see it. Oh, man, I can't armaments and bludgeon. A real shame. I'm just going to bludgeon it. I think it's fine. We take four. I mean, who cares? We'll heal the full at the end of this combat anyway. And... Hmm. I mean, I like the idea of limit breaking. It exhausts, though, huh? I say it like it really matters. I mean, 12 strength up already is, is very, very good. This one HP and draw a card. Maybe I should have, actually. I mean, brutality is, is fairly important in a situation... Such as the one in which we find ourselves. Um, maybe we just Juggernaut and True Grit and I exhaust this injury. When did I get this injury, man? Hmm. Oh, oh, with the, with the Golden Idol. Of course, of course. It's really funny because I take it almost every time and I'm still over here like, what in the hell? How could that have happened? All right, perfect. I mean, he's probably going to get around the horn again one more time, but... I mean, our strength is becoming, you know, astronomical. So I'm definitely going to... I want a True Grit because I just don't want the burn. And then we'll Reaper. So we, you know, we block a little bit. We heal to full, etc. Would have been great to throw a barricade out there, but like, god dang, you know? That's what I was thinking about. This isn't going to help us this turn. And in fact, probably won't help us all fight since, I mean, with 20 strength up, we're probably getting on towards the end of like how long this fight could possibly go on for. See, I really, I wish we could, I wish we could land that one. Because if we did these two, right? Oh, wait. I know what you're thinking. We offering, and then we get this feed, and then look, our max HP goes up, and it's like, it's like there were no witnesses to the sleeping crime that I did earlier. That's what it's like. We'll take a second exam. A Velvet Joker sounds like hellish. And we have question card. Let's just take Busted Crown. Because then it's like we just, it's like we're, you know, we're all the way back at the beginning. We've come full circle. I guess it's more of like a circle there. Not really like a weird, like, you know, drinking water from a gourd motion I'm doing. Um, so, we could, probably shouldn't look for rests. We got one, two, three possible elites. Look, I'm just saying, if you're down for it, I'm down for it. And clearly, none of us are thinking straight. Uh, because, I mean, <laughs> if, uh, but I don't know, right? Maybe it's not that everyone here is, like, crazy, you know, that we think that we can do this. Maybe instead, what it actually is, is that we're just all finance professionals, right? Because, you know, they say in the market, 
like past performance is not an indicator of like future valuation or whatever. And so if you're looking at it from that lens, the fact that we've done badly is in no way indicative of how we're going to do in the future. So it's not even ridiculous for us to think that we're going to do so much better. No, in fact, it's practically rational. Let's just do that. Okay, and then he slowed. And then I guess we could waste a feed or we could pop that. And so instead we will pop this. All right, uh, well, an Infernal Blade could give us something. Oh, oh my God, a free bludgeon. Wow. Okay, that's beautiful. Nothing like a free bludgeon. Okay, excuse me? Oh, future rewards have two less to choose from. That's right, that's right. Okay, so we're not, we're not back to zero. Excuse me for, you know, the fact that I, I don't know, I don't pay attention to anything. I think we should Sword Boomerang or Whirlwind. I think it's kind of a tough one. I guess we should Whirlwind because it gives us, like, the, the possibility of doing much better. But I like Sword Boomerang because it's cheap. I'll take Whirlwind because I think it's truly smarter. But I want you to know that in my heart, that's not the one I wanted to pick. So we'll start with this. Oh, frick yeah, with the Iron Wave. Yeah, I think we should armaments. Um, we'll do this. And then I guess we'll deal damage to them all, like a significant amount, or... Well, okay, we'll do this. I know, I know. Oh, we killed one of them, which means we drew, but we can't use it. And God, if we could have used it. Mmm. Mmm. Ugh. I'm, I'm pouring one out in the future. In the future, I'm always pouring one out for this moment, anytime, you know? Okay, so let's do maybe Reaper. Which will still not kill that guy, but then we could exhume. Okay, okay. So, Gremlin Horn, it saves our life. Excellent. Uh, I like Elixir. I like where it's going with that. We'll take Elixir. You know, why not? Why not fill up this deck so that we have as little control over it as possible? Okay, Kunai. Interesting. With a deck like this, I don't know how often I think, oh god, I always buy the membership cards. Okay, but like Akbeko, imagine, right, a world in which we take Akbeko, and then we always get Whirlwind. No Bottle Flame necessary. This is just, this is, this is an imaginary world in which, like, incredible things happen. Blood Potion is, uh, actually maybe a very smart play. Well, it's very cheap. So, you know, we can go ahead and we can remove this injury, and we could buy a Blood Potion. And I guess, like, a Strength Potion is probably not worth a lot. Mmm, metallicized potion tempts me as well, but listen, I'm just going to leave it as it is. I mean, we have $66, and perhaps we will run into a shop in the future, and we will be so thankful that we saved the $66 for ourselves, you know? It's like three meals at Subway, so when we're starving, that'll be, that'll be three meals that keep us going. Uh, what do I want to do here? What's offering? So, like, a double tap bludgeon is pretty good. Um, it's, like, so good, actually. Okay, now that, that sucks, Dick. Um, I guess I'll get rid of the elixir, even though, I mean, you know how it is. Look at this, look at this, look at this HP. You see this HP at 83? That's right. That means there's no evidence of my crime. Why not? Why not take another one? Okay, so here we go. Um, let's see what we can do that doesn't result in my death. I should have Juggernaut at first. That was foolish. Quite foolish. All right, well, we're going to take a little bit of damage. And the next turn, I think we're going to still take some damage. Oh, yes. What a blessing. He has instead decided to hurt us by buffing himself. So anyway, we'll just play our Intimidates because I just want to get them stacked up on this jerk. And then, we still haven't attacked yet? Well, I'm not sure that's actually going to change this turn, Jesus. Maybe we do that? We kill only one of them that way, though. We could inflame. We could barricade. But, like, when are we ever going to make this part happen, you know? Like, we barricade and then what? You know? We should probably do this. Okay, we killed them both, which gave us somehow enough energy, thanks to Gremlin Horn. Oh, uh, for that to all work out. Okay. Well, I mean, I'm pleased with how that turned out. It could have been far worse. So, um, you know, it's nice. Let's double tap bludgeon. 
I think that'll help us get where we need to go. I wonder what it's like to, to traverse the spire like that. Like, do you have to... I said, do you have to know where you're going? And then I was like, you do have a map, I guess. But, like, this is not a map that tells me what to do, right? It's just, like... It's such a weird map as well. Because it doesn't really tell you, like, physically, like, in, in spatially where you are. You just kind of walk through and you're like, alright, so I fought two enemies. So I guess I must be here. But you can easily, like, lose your way, right? Like, if you hit a question mark that was an enemy, you could be like, did I go right or left here? And then, like, not be sure. So that could be, that could be hard, I think. Um, so we could, we could double our strength. We could fiend fire. We could, we could, and I think have to immolate, basically. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So if we immolate... I guess I'll do that first, and then think about what I want to do. Okay, so now what I want to do is demon form. Is that what I can responsibly do? Hmm. Let's, let's do this. 7 times 4 is 28. So we can just kill him. Ah, oh, that's much better than sitting there trying to do the math. Okay, we're doing good. We can probably, like, wild strike. We, we, I think, safely could wild strike. Nevertheless, it's not what we're doing. I mean, look, anytime you see something that kind of makes sense, you should know that's not going to be the path we take, okay? That, that's the path for fools and smart people. What's the difference? I'm not sure. Okay, so, only a little damage there. Oh, bludgeon would be nice. Carnage is okay. 13 damage times 4. What does that work out to? 12 times 4? 4? 48 plus... You know, four more. So not enough to kill anybody is what I'm trying to say. Um, I'm not, I'm not gonna bite then. I guess I'll take bludgeon. I guess I'll take carnage. Now I wish I could do 12 damage to you, and I can't. The mystic is probably buffing the attack, though, realistically speaking. Oh, and we got some decks up that we're not gonna use. I mean, that's nice. Yes, yeah, see, look, strength up. Mmm, beautiful. I was going to say, like, I'm as psychic as the mystic, but I suppose there's really, there's no evidence that the mystic is psychic in any way. <laughs> uh, okay. Cool. That one's done for. And then I guess we could inflame. And we could limit break. But why not just corruption? Like, like, we don't have a care in the world. So we'll do that. Because I'm, that's, that's how confident I am that this fight is going to be over quickly. Oh, uh, what, what would I bring back? Maybe another Infernal Blade? It's been treating me well so far. Alright, this headbutt situation's maybe not, like, treating me that well. Um... Hmm... I guess we should do this. I can Reaper as necessary. Yeah, so we'll Reaper. And then Bludgeon, we should heal to full. Hell yeah! Okay, that's fine. I'm content with where we're at. This is when, like, Whirlwind comes in handy. Yeah! So, well, 13. That's a lot of damage. We should just do that instead of worrying about Inflame, I think. Wow, I mean, we were able to kill one of them, which is pretty fun. Maybe we should have double tapped. Not sure if that would have made any sense, though. Because I think, wouldn't it just repeat, but, like, badly? You know, repeat, but with zero. So, kind of just do nothing, right? Ooh, Whetstone. Cleave and Fiend Fire. I mean, it's cool because it basically, there's no chance of it hitting a strike. So that's cool. We're not upgrading all strikes in defense. We don't have any. That's dumb. We will remove something, though. Um, I never, ever, have, like, I don't think this entire game, I don't think I've played Brutality. So I know, I know that, like, Brutality is a good card. You know, let's not throw hands. But, uh, uh, you know... Okay, so I guess we could, like, Reaper, like, ju just kind of for the zane of it, and then bring it back. Obviously, Limit Break isn't any good, and we can exhume another, like, weakness to all enemies, but why bother? I mean, I'm not, I'm not dead set on it. We could Cleave, of course. Okay, well, let's start by figuring out what's going on. Sever Soul is not bad. I would Inflame first, though. Nine damage for each. Hmm. I don't know. 
Maybe this. And then we cleave and sever soul. And I'll work on this guy. Close, too. Maybe I should have focused more on that guy. Maybe put, like, the bludgeon on him or something. I do think it's it's quite exciting how, like, I always sit around during these games, and I'll be like, hmm, should have done this. Hmm, probably should have done that. As though, like, that's <laughs> all helpful. <laughs> okay, well, well, at least impervious. It would have been nice, of course, to be able to, like, you know, deal five damage to a random enemy when we did that, but the fact that we didn't, eh, it's okay. All right, so... Uh, 4 times 5 is 20. That's not enough to kill anybody, so why worry about it? Uh, I think we can double tap Emily, and that should kill everybody. Nice. Smiling Mask. That one's really top of mind, tip of tongue these days. Uh, okay. We may as well hit this campfire and just smith. Like, just smith anything, man. Uh, probably yes, this whirlwind should be worth you know, deal more damage, because we're kind of passing it up sometimes. I mean, like, when you compare with, like, Emily, it just, it doesn't, it doesn't hold up, man. So you kind of need something to make it work. 12 damage to all enemies seems pretty sweet, but I'm just gonna be a little, a little bit of a maniac and do that instead. And then, because, like, I don't want to double tap anything we got here. I guess, yeah, I guess we could have double tapped Emily, but I don't want all the burns. We'll just do this, okay? I know it's crazy. We're going to slow play that beginning of the fight. We're able to get two of the gremlins out first thing. I mean, I'm not mad about it. You shouldn't be either. Calm your rage. Okay, so we'll apply weak. I could exhume again. Let's just exhume Infernal Blade again. Keep the party going, you know? Okay. I mean, it's good to have a pummel in the deck, I think. 13, and then 10. And we got decks up. Like, that's going to make a difference in a deck with no decks. And it, Wow, that's, that's almost a tongue twister. There I go. Uh, we could exhaust a card. We could armaments and upgrade something. We love upgrading stuff. Let's just demon form. I know what you're thinking. You're thinking, hmm, that's a lot of damage. And no, I'm not trying to sell you flex tape. We'll just use that block potion. And you know what? Let's just not even worry about what's going to happen next. Like how he's hitting us really hard. We're not worrying about that part, okay? The fact that you're talking about it right now would clearly indicate that you'd be worried about it. And, you know, don't be. So we could offering, like, draw about a million cards, get some more energy. I say, why not? Yeah, 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 immolate's the kind of thing I'm looking for. But, hmm... Okay, so let's double tap Reaper to get as much of a heal out as we possibly can. And then we could, hmm, we could like Limit Break and Bludgeon. I think that, no, we could Bludgeon, oh no, oh no, it does too much damage. Okay, this doesn't. So we Carnage and then we Feed. And then we're up to 90? Hell yeah. Like, that Night Terrors modifier, it means nothing to us. It is utterly and completely meaningless. No, I don't want either of those. I mean, the idea of yet another. Ooh. This is fun. Now whenever we gain gold, we will heal. I wonder where it gets the blood to, uh, to constantly bleed from its eyeballs from. That's the kind of thing, you know, that keeps you up at night wondering, you know? Like, excitedly, not in, like, a stressed out kind of way. Um, I would love to just go ahead and upgrade Limit Break. I feel like it takes way too long for us to actually ever upgrade this this bad boy. Okay. So, we'll throw this on him. Get things going. Do we have a bag of marbles? No? Why did he start weakened? Am I a fool? Like, what happens in this game? I can't figure out what the hell is going on ever. Oh, Red Mask. Okay, okay. Yeah, that's right. Bag of marbles is vulnerable, isn't it? Okay. Juggernaut is good. I would like to juggernaut. I would like to inflame. And I am not that interested in bringing Intimidate back. So we're just going to go ahead and take 12 damage to the face. It's a nice warm up, you know. Throw this out here. I guess I could armaments. I want to demon form. I have no doubts about how I would like to demon form. And then we could... So like... Yeah, I don't know. We could, like, double tap a whirlwind, which, as we discussed previously, I think will not do anything. 
and is not very good for us. We could limit break. And I, I guess we could vulnerable ourselves. But, you know, the end of this turn he's not attacking, so we just have to get through this turn. And, I mean, I think we can do it. You know, this doesn't look too bad. And uh, 17 damage four times is pretty sick, especially for free. Oh, man. They don't sell that at the dollar store, I tell you what. So we can exhaust our hand. Or we could just, like, cleave, and then we could True Grid and Exhaust Fiend Fire, which I'm also okay with. In fact, I prefer it, clearly, since that's the path I chose. Um, so 18 damage five times is pretty good. I mean, I don't think double tapping really makes any sense. What will that work out to, though? Because I feel like if we double tap Bludgeon, wouldn't that be better? It felt like, oh, Jesus, we should have still were wounded. Mmm. Upsetting. Alright, so we go ahead, we limit break. So we can armaments again. Just hit the things we didn't hit before. See, now we should be able to exhume something fun. What? Why did Pummel exhaust? No, 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 Pummel, get back here. Perfect. 27, four times. For quite cheap. Uh, and then, you know what, Pummel? Get back here. Okay, 31 damage four times. And we can feed. Oh, yeah. And we already had his busted crown. Like, we're basically sitting there wearing it. Like, we couldn't have flexed on the poor bastard harder. Well, I'm not gonna juggernaut. And I literally removed brutality from my hand earlier. Um, okay. So, let me see. Sorry, I've just, I've tied my glasses on badly. And now it's hurting my head. Well, anyway, I guess I'll live with that for now. Um... So Sacred Bark, no thanks. I'd rather just do Cursed Key and like get zany with it because, you know, it's nice to have these two energy relics when you're going into the beyond. It is a pleasant feeling for sure. I would like, we could spend some of that money. One, two, we can only get two elites either way. This elite has lots of campfires and a couple question marks. We'll go this way. I don't want to spend too long thinking about it. I mean, clearly the map in the Spire is not super reliable. Um, okay, so 16 damage five times feels like maybe enough to kill them all, and it was, so that was pretty sick. Heavy Blade is insane, like actually maybe psychotic, like it's so good. Um, I would like to remove a cart, but I also want Happy Flower and Blood Vial. <laughs> Rampage is hilarious and useless, of course. Shrug enough is not bad. But I want to remove something else. So I like that Fiend Fire has like some, you know, scaling possibilities. Um, what don't I like? I mean, the thing is, a lot of these are good. Even Berserk is like fun and nice. I don't play Corruption much, so I'm going to get rid of Corruption. Hmm, the abacus is not horrible. Let's take a shrug. Hell, let's take an abacus. I've always thought abacuses are super cool. Like, you know, there's kind of an art or a skill to them, isn't it? Um, no, this isn't my favorite class. Thanks for asking. Um, the silent is, is like hands down my favorite. I love poison. I love shivs. I enjoy discard decks. So everything about it is just super fun for me. Um... Of course, that means, like, you know, it's easy to hard counter me with the time eater. That's for sure. Um, but I also really like the Watcher. Uh, I think that the Watcher is, like, a class that's just... It's just too smart for me, I feel like, in a lot of ways. But I really, really do enjoy it. So, um, I think it's it's just a ton of fun to play. It goes kind of crazy, though. Because if we, if we upgrade this, I don't think either of them get cheaper. Which is okay. I mean, we'll play this. What's in our exhaust pile? Feed? Sure, I mean, it's free. Throw it back in there. Maybe it'll roll around to us when we need it most. You know? That's the hope. Okay, so we'll intimidate this guy. Um, we'll draw a card? Why not? Oh, it's a burn! That's why not! When I was like, why not? Even though it was like a rhetorical question. But thank you, Slay the Spire, for answering my rhetorical question and letting me know exactly why I should not have done that. 
So we can bludgeon and be done with this. Can we feed? Because feed is not still in there, right? So we could offering and look for like reaper or something. Man, we didn't get anything like that. That is so offensive. Okay, perfect. Um, I don't know, I wouldn't hate it. Like, it would give us some actual block potential. Let's go ahead and take this fight first. And then, oh boy, will we be ready. Okay, I guess I'd like to just inflame and limit break. I understand what this is doing. You know, I understand it's, it's reducing the damage we're going to do, but I mean, I feel like it's kind of a, an investment, if you will. So, we should armaments. I wonder if we'll keep anything out of this. Sure, let's barricade. I don't, we'll keep a little, right? Yeah, 20 almost, which is not quite a little. Okay, let's keep him weak with, you know, our, our very intimidating uh, breaches here. Uh, hmm. Like, I guess we could shrug. We could reaper and get some health back. We should shrug, though, for sure, actually, now that I think about it. So we'll do this. Is there anything in here I'm really itching for? Not really. I guess, well, you know what? We could put Impervious back in our hand. Obviously, I can't afford it. But, but, you know, a little offering to whatever dark demons we've made bargains with as uh, this poor guy. Probably could have just killed it, huh? Probably still could just kill it, huh? Bingo. Not bad. I like Disarm. I like that it's permanent. Oh, uh, we'll totally fight him. Look, we can take him. 93 out of 94? Hell yeah. Thanks, Blood Vial. I don't know how it's healing us. I suppose we, like, give ourselves a little injection from it. Get a little boost that way. Um, I mean, hey, if it's good enough for, like, Olympic athletes, it's good enough for us, you know? Um, that's, uh, that's just for, like, biking, though, right? Like, Lance Armstrong and, and his whole deal. Oh, look at that. Just barely can't kill him, huh? Hurts. Um, yeah, I guess I'll just disarm him a little bit. Should disarm the other one. Very, very dumb. Yeah, mm-hmm. I gotta specialize in that, to be honest. Okay, we're not applying block. We're just weakening them. Um, sure. Maybe I should have demon formed. Oh, we got a little armaments? Okay. But yeah, it's, it's just for, like, biking, right? Where you can, like, you know, give yourself your, your own, like, red blood cells back. Or I guess other people's. I don't know. Is it, is it only doping if it's with other people's, like, blood infusions where you just, like, just inject, like, their red blood cells or whatever to give you, like, better oxygenating power? Is that the deal? I mean, clearly, you can tell I'm not quite an expert on this. We don't have any strength up. Are we in hell? Let's, let's pop an offering. Shall we? Um, yeah, we'll help them out with the burns. We're, we're a big fan of the burn situation. I don't think that even with the strength up, that's really going to help us much. I mean, he's weak, not vulnerable, so nothing going on there. Uh, hmm. Man. That is just so awful. Okay, we can limit break. We can even reaper and clothesline. We clothesline and then reaper. Oh, I should I should have reapered and then clothesline. I even said it in that order and I was like, oh no, no, I should be careful. Yeah, be careful of, like, playing well for once. Okay. What else would I want? Eh, okay. I mean, I like the sound of that. Okay, let's go ahead. I feel like my scope of vision has gotten narrower, but it feels like my little strange uh, frog mouth openers are in the same place, so I don't know what my problem could be. Let's shrug. Oh, we definitely should have juggernaut at first. Yeah, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Let's do this and this. All right. This is just a good old-fashioned setup turn. You know, the people need that every once in a while. Let's go ahead and throw these out here. Um, this is, this is pretty good. I don't really think I care. Oh, God. I mean, another disarm. But Exhum will stay in our deck until we play it. So let's not be picky. Kind of funny, this guy's not really taking any debuff from the time dilation situation, huh? Time dilation situation. So we got a little immolate there. We're weakened currently, huh? Hmm. 
Oh, we should armaments for sure make everything better. And we could offering and hope for something good. We're gonna draw five cards. I mean, not like this, we're not. So that one's free. We could Reaper and heal just a little. I'm, I'm interested in the Berserk, but I mean, surely, surely we could make five HP work for us, right? It feels like we'd have to be able to. I'm gonna do that. I know, we're all full of regrets at this point, but at least we're not taking any damage yet. Okay, so next turn he's gonna wonder why we're still here. It's a good question. You know, this fire seems like a bad place, but I suppose the literal answer is Meow keeps resurrecting us and does not let us leave. I think that's, that's the short answer, huh? Okay, I can choose what I exhaust. So I guess I'll just exhaust this. We will limit break to hasten our successes. And then should I... I guess we'll just throw out an intimidate, keep him weaker longer. Keep him weak for longer. You understand. Uh, okay. So, like, that offering is pretty good, right? 84 is not bad. We'll go ahead and offering and see what we can get. 22 times 7 is nice. I feel like that sounds quite, quite good. Still won't be enough, though, yeah? What, 22 times 7? What would 20 times 7 be? 20 times 5 is 100, so, okay, like, we're in the neighborhood of, like, 140, 150. So we're still gonna take damage, which means we probably should think twice. Maybe we'll just double tap Heavy Blade. And then this would give us 88 damage. Plus whatever else we would get. Hmm. This is slightly more bang for our buck. And then we do this, and I think it'll kill him. It did. Look at that. You don't even have to be particularly good at doing math in your head to, to get there sometimes. So we'll smith, and I thought about taking a searing blow, but let's not be ridiculous. Okay, so it's good to get double tap upgraded, I think. Even though we get armaments out there, armaments plus, I mean, sometimes helping us out. Really, shame again. I mean, how unoriginal at this point. Uh, anything that, like, really gets much better... Barricade not being three is is actually really valuable as well. I'm gonna improve our shrug it off. I mean, oh look, and regret, shame and regret. They do go hand in hand though. And then it's such a shame. You know, last time we had the option to get Dreamcatcher and Shovel, and now we have neither option, and um, and it hurts, is what I'm saying. I'm just gonna go ahead and make Barricade a little cheaper, that way we can at least get it out there. Cause I mean, sometimes Barricade really can do, you know, it can work some wonders for you, but not if um, it never gets the chance to, you know? Okay, this True Grit's freaking incredible. No more regret. Oh, uh -huh, it's that simple. We're still gonna feel some shame about the whole thing, but like, you know, if given the choice, we would do it again, you know? Okay, well, Demon Form for sure. <laughs> this is so silly. Um, I'm gonna double tap Rampage, just to improve the Rampage. The fact that, you know, that's not what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to Offering. I know that we're not gonna do any more damage to him, I was just sort of hoping that we could mitigate the damage that we would take instead. Which is not where we're at. Should have Limit Break first. We don't have any Shrink up yet. No point in limit breaking at all, I suppose. So instead... Okay, well see, this is a turn we could actually hit him. And naturally, of course, we're just... We're just kind of sitting ducks. And gaining frail, wow. Delightful. I do like that Exhum keeps giving me the option of bringing regret back. Like, you know, hmm. It's tempting, to be sure. Mm, I guess I'll just do this. This can give us something interesting. Well, it's always great to apply vulnerable, just a solitary vulnerable at the end of the turn. You know, that way you can't possibly get any benefit from it. And that's that's what it's all about, you know? Okay, well at least when he's intangible, he can still be weakened. Thank goodness for that. I'm not trying to make myself vulnerable. That seems that seems dangerous. Well, I guess we could Emily and we could fiend fire. I guess it doesn't really do anything. But I'm cool with the, the exhaust that we got out of it. And it's not like we have ice cream. 
Hey, so we'll shrug. Oh, no. Ouch. Okay, well, him doing six damage makes me feel a lot more comfortable. 23 damage is nice. Oh, it's the time dilation. That's what's, that's what's working there. 18 times two. Well, he's intangible, so who cares? Uh, probably shouldn't do that, is what I'm trying to say. Cool. This is probably worth it. We should limit break, of course. We're up to 20, which is nice. No reason not to whirlwind, I suppose. We're still not taking damage somehow, thanks to, like, you know, an impervious turn three turns ago or something. Heavy Blade should just get it, like, yeah, get it handled. Hell yeah. And some Distilled Chaos? Sure, I'll take another Disarm. We got the little Repulsor friend, we got Spiky Boy, and we got Spirit Guardian. We're taking them all out. Except, wow, doing this one six times is gonna hurt us. We'll kill him in, what, three or four? Maybe I True Grit first, right? And then we Whirlwind. And it mitigates some of the damage that we take. And we still got it done. You know what? Let's Havoc. Like, why not? Okay. Uh, we could Disarm and make it worth a little more. And I say, let's do it. Because, you know, Donu and Dekka, they're going to be over there getting stronger and stronger as these turns progress. So, you know, it makes sense. Uh, let's do this. That's the worst. That's the worst possible. No. No. What? That's actually in a 31 card deck. Havoc drew one of our only two exhumes. Man, that is just so painful. I mean, I don't want to use any of this garbage. I'm not going to. Because I don't want to waste our Reaper. You know, we only have one exhume to work with now. Basically, taking that first turn instead of a setup turn, we're just using that as like a debuff turn. So we can screw ourselves over. Good, we have shame and regret in the same uh, same hand. Very fun and exciting. Uh, we should probably disarm one of them, and I guess it'll be this one because it's attacking this turn. I'll shrug. Probably shrug again, too, but let's do this for now. We don't have barricade on yet, right? Blood for blood. Oh, yeah, that was dumb. Okay. Okay. Also kind of dumb, like, because we have regret in our hand, but I was looking for Barricade. In particular, I was indeed looking for Barricade. Kind of interested in this one, so I'm going to do it. Uh, okay, so we're going to take a little damage, and by a little I mean seven, which is kind of an enormous number to take off of off of shame or whatever, but... I, like, again, no follow-up for that, just but, <laughs> you know, uh, that's it. So, I think we can just go ahead and, like, play our hand. I don't think there's any reason not to, or any particular order in which we should be playing our hand. And because we have barricade, we should just always, you know, we should apply block as though it is like a sunscreen that we are trying to rub into our skin before a beach day. That's where we're at. So, I can double my strength, even though my strength kind of sucks right now. How about instead we double tap Heavy Blade? That seems like that is much more solid, more defensible, you know? I like my choices to be defensible, that way it gives me the opportunity to argue with people. What will we play? We, we played and exhausted a cleave, which did, you know, if we're, if we're being honest, not a whole lot for us. Okay, I'll take this Reaper. I know it's only 9 each, and I know that we have Demon Form, so sooner or later it'll be doing more for us, but I would like, I would like us to avoid damage as much as possible. So we could exhume. And we could take a whole host of exciting things out of there. But I think what I'm going to take is a Disarm Plus. That seems fun. Okay. So. 27 to all is, is really nice. You know what we're going to do? We're going to do this. Because even though I like Emily, we're going to only have one enemy here soon. And what I really want is to get rid of that Frail. Because that Frail is not doing us any favors this time. And I think we'll survive. Oh my god. Oh, we can't, we just barely, oh, never mind. We can. Well, we're going to kill Donu with a feed, which would give us an achievement if this was not a daily. Um, a real shame. I'm sure we'll just play this out. Oh, stone calendar hit. That's fun. It's supposed to be like a little Mayan calendar, right? That's why it's like a little, 
little attack for us there. Okay, 104. I mean, we're going to be good to go there. Man, demon form just kind of makes you unstoppable, huh? 823. Kind of an embarrassment. We're going with the shame theme tonight, you know? Okay, we are pretty close to getting our last unlock for the ironclad, which is, you know, quite excellent. Okay, so I say, why not try one more time with the ironclad on this ascension? This is just an ironclad kind of night. So let's, let's do it. Enemies next three combats. Oh, wow. They're like really burning on me. You know, giving me a Nyao's Lament option. Ouch. Okay, transform the cards. Remove a card from your deck. Um, hmm. Removing a card from our deck is really great if we're going to wind up with like a Rampage deck. But I'm worried if I just take out a card, I'll just, I'll just spend my whole life trying to make it a Rampage deck. You know what? Screw it. I mean, who am I to stand in my own way? You know, if I am eager to make incredibly bad choices, then by Jove, as that, that's, our, that's our saying for the night, by Jove, they should let us. Okay, we'll just knock this one out. I mean, it's a huge waste that it didn't have 8 HP, and we had to waste a whole bash on it, but... Okay. Wow, three blocks. That feels like it's basically the same as nothing. I guess it would have made it so we'd almost healed a full... I'm not here to compromise with spike slimes, okay? I don't know what people have told you, but I'm not here for that. Armaments is not bad. Clash is interesting. Oh god, I don't know, but if I don't take some kind of card here... Ooh. I guess I'll take an armaments. Okay. So we're gonna lose armaments and get Smiling Mask immediately. Um... Hmm, wow, what I wouldn't give for that. This isn't a charity, we got no money, and we can't afford that. So let's remove another card. This time we'll remove a defend. And we can't really afford, we can afford an armament. <laughs> oh god, that's so weird and ironic. Okay, so let's hope we get something really, really good out of this. Because we're kind of going into an elite fight with an 8 card deck and like no real zingers in it. You know what I'm saying? So I'm a little nervous about it, if I'm telling you the honest truth. As opposed to the dishonest truth, which I would tell you if I liked you less. You understand. See, this is what I was looking for. Like a rampage. Like a frickin' rampage. Okay, so now, as long as it's not the, the trio, we are in so much business, it's crazy. Okay, I'm gonna block, like, a maniac as well. Maybe I should hit the other one. Yeah, the other one in the back has more, uh, curl-up stuff. Okay, um... Yeah, we've gotta kill this one, because there's just no way I can afford to take this kind of damage from, like, you know... I, I get, like, Tonka truck-sized lice. I mean, we just, we can't live like this, okay? It's unacceptable. Oh, it's gonna, what, make us weak? Mm-hmm. We can't be weakened, not in a meaningful sense. We are emotionally stable. Um... I love a metallicize though, because that it only makes the deck a little thicker. You know what I'm saying? Because like long term, right? We can just Yeah, so we put that out there. Hell yes, we get rolling on it, okay? Yes, we get our metallicize out here. And then we're hoping to like run into bash now. Or I guess rampage again. Well, we ran into rampage again, so we gotta start attacking. I, we've actually had like worse intros, you know, to the log of one fight. I don't know why I say that, right? Like, I've died on floor one, okay? So, like, <laughs> clearly, I've had worse instances of just about any game. Um, I guess it would be really interesting to know, like, what were my, my genuinely, like, like, you know, what situations have I been in where I couldn't say this has ever been worse? You know, like, that, that keeps it fun. Okay, we get that out here. Probably should have just bashed at that point. Oh, we still could have bashed first. I'm a complete imbecile, huh? On that one. That was that was brutal, man. Taking some hits. Okay. Alright. Uh anger, iron wave. Oh god, what <laughs> if we could take anger and we could just ruin the deck that we're going for? What do you think? It's it's very classic me. Huh. So I'm I'm gonna fire potion. Just one of them. If we took this strength up, we could kill this one for free. 
and this one. And then we would take six and we would heal through that. So I know we used two potions just to fight like a couple of tiny teardrop slimes. Uh, but they're fierce. Okay, they're fierce. That's all I have to say for myself. And besides, it's nice, right? You get kind of like, you give an ego boost to the slimes. Like, they're cute, and they probably don't get it much, so. Like, Limit Break, it's incredible, right? So what we're going to try to do, Strength and Rampage. Because I'm going to take it, but I'm not taking much more. I'm not taking much more, okay? Everyone, I'm holding myself accountable, but, you know, you try to hold me accountable, too. I'm, I'm squirrely. Okay. So that's okay for the block. I Obviously, we're going to run into some serious problems trying to run this deck right now. Uh, like, like real serious problems. I should have played Limit Break just to get rid of it. Ornamental Fan is what? Every time, every time you play three attacks, scan a block. Perfect. Look, the opportunity to play that. Oh, man. That Metallicize is only, only blocking us three. Like, look, I'm not, I'm not saying it's not helping. I'm just saying I'm not sure it's helping enough. Okay, blocking 13, we're taking 18. Come on, this is a war of attrition that I'm not trying to lose. It looks like I'm trying to lose, but I'm not. So we'll do that. God, I'll take a block and start working on this guy in the back, I guess. You know, go for those, those low HP ones just to try to clear them out. Man, if we had fire breathing, we'd be in such, we'd be, you know, smooth sailing or whatever it is I'm trying to say. Okay, taking another six. Not healing through this one. Uh, wow, that's, that's disgusting. Is it not, Operator? Okay, go hard on these, and then perhaps shortly, perhaps shortly, we'll be able to get out of this without dying. Um, I'm just gonna go ahead and just block like crazy, I guess. I mean, that's obviously not really what I was, I was hoping to do. Okay, bingo. I mean, having Rampage did save us as opposed to not having anything, which would have not saved us, in case you couldn't, in case you couldn't uh, infer the rest of that one. We'll take the Maw Bank. I don't see us making it to the heart. Oh, I'd be surprised. Oh, no. We didn't find anything. I risked that, and we didn't find... Okay, come on. One more. Oh, shoot. Okay, well, this is probably it for us. Um... Yeah, this is probably it for us. I, I, I thought, I really genuinely thought that it was normally the gremlin knob. I was like, it'll be fine. Even if we get hit, it'll just be the gremlin knob. It'll be fine. You know, it'll be fine. I mean, we haven't even seen our freaking rampage yet. I know that was turn one, but like, ow, you know, ow. We got limit break clogging up the deck. Oh, we are hosed, my friends. We are hosed with a capital H. And like, there's no point in even playing like a freaking exhaust potion. You know what I mean? This 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 elixir? Like, who cares even? Like, why bother? Okay, at least we're able to kill this guy. Oh, thank God. Because you know these ethereal cards, what can we do? Okay. We can take enough we can take enough block here to do damage. Um we can take enough. We won't take any damage that turn, okay? We did not take damage that turn. There we go. Just melting down a little bit, you know. The circuits are melting inside my brain, you know. You gotta be careful with overclocking. So, we got this going on. Cool. So, we just need to, you know, literally draw one single attack card next turn. Oh, man, and we did it? I mean, man, there's no stopping us. At least we'll get a relic after this, right? I mean, I think that's, I think that's how this works. We get some kind of consolation prize. It's like, hey, good job surviving. I can't believe, like, the, the sheer lack of luck that we received here. It's, it's, it's mind-boggling, you know? I mean, look at that, right? Because we just came from that elite, and I was like, oh, what are the odds? It'll be this exact same elite. Oh, a shovel. That's so good, though. I can't, I can't have it. Don't tempt me. Okay, you know how bad I want to, I want to dig. But we're at 17 health. Okay, it's truly, genuinely unwise. Now, in this case, too easy. Um, I mean, we're going to take a little damage. That's, that's the point at which, uh, yeah, we're not going to heal through. 
Well, at least we had a fairy in a bottle. I mean, that was that that was kind of the, the clutch there. <laughs> We're probably gonna use it as well. Uh, I'm skipping that. Okay, I'm digging. We got Juzu bracelet. I mean, I guess that allows us to safely go here. We can upgrade. We can upgrade, and we can upgrade Rampage, which is excellent. I should sleep. I should, just to be, just to be careful. I know, I know, I don't want to either. I would much rather dig. But it's just, I think it was unwise. At least this isn't somebody who can like clog up our deck with burns like the Hexaghost. Who's the Hexaghost, this guy, oh yeah, and, and of course the, the slime, the slime boss. And he could also have done something unpleasant for us. So I'm appreciative. Maybe you should have blocked more. Maybe you should block more, but I think anytime you see Rampage, I mean, you kind of just gotta play it, right? When you're running, you know, an 11 card deck with Rampage, I think you just, you simply must. Okay. It's a real shame, you know, where we find ourselves, where, like, Limit Break is, is useless. Like, I just want to exhaust it to get it out of our hand. But... Oh, maybe it's Ornamental Fan? I don't know. I feel like I have to understand what's going on in my own game better, but I mean, in real life, you know, many things are a mystery to me. I don't see why it should be any different here. Maybe I should have, maybe I should have bashed first. Maybe that would have had us prevent this damage loss. I mean, already it's clear that we needed to have slept because we'd be dead now if we hadn't. So that's a plus. We still might die. Uh, that's, that's something that's still on the table for us. God, I want to play that so bad. I'm not going to, but man, I really want to. I just think it's, again, did I mention that I think it's a bit unwise? We still have fairy in a bottle, okay? So even if we completely eat it right here, um, if I block these two, then we'll definitely survive. So I guess I should do that. I mean, not by a lot. But, you know, otherwise I'm, I'm hoping that the bash cracks them open. And we don't have paper frog, so... You know, if we were able to show him our origami skills, he would have been very intimidated by us, but as it was. I should have probably handled that differently. That's that's a sentence I could say at any time in this game, but in particular now, I'm thinking. Okay, so this is where he'll kill us, right? Yeah, he'll kill us here. And then all we have to do is land this rampage. Okay. Whew, thank god we got rid of that pesky fairy in a bottle, you know what I mean? I hate having that around. Okay, I don't want to start with two wounds. Oh, oh, ho, 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 ho. Oh, man. Okay, so. I, I don't want to get rid of Limit Break. Oh, god, I mean, I should get rid of Limit Break, but I don't want to. So we'll just do this. I probably should get rid of two strikes. Two strikes is probably smarter. But, you know, birdcage keeps us back down at 10. I mean, it's a nice, it's a nice situation to be in. Kind of, what kind of elites could we have? Hmm. Wait, we should look for campfires. <laughs> Coward strats. Okay, we could hit three there. We could hit four. We could hit four and two elites on this kind of veer up right path. Hell yeah, that's what we're doing. Okay. No stopping us, okay? I know what it looked like earlier. But those days are long past us. Sure, we're keeping a card in our hand that's virtually useless. And, you know, uh, we are running an extremely thin deck. But soon we're going to get, you know, any way to trigger strength. And when we do, oh, you just, you watch out. Okay, I wish we weren't taking so much damage in the beginning. I really should have gotten rid of two strikes instead of those defends. Okay, well, this double tap with the rampages is going to help us out big time. Okay, now we're up to nine armor for, for this one. Oh my god, why won't it end? Okay. I mean, they're they're trying to hasten my end as swiftly as they can. And, you know, I appreciate the effort that they're putting in, but, you know, sometimes I'd just rather they didn't. So we're going this way so I can hit a shop. 
um, naturally, I guess we're hitting the birds along the way. Sure, this bird is so vulnerable. I was like, you know, hey, we're good friends. And then I was like, and by the way, did, did you notice that your haircut's really bad? And now, oh, it's so vulnerable. Okay. Uh, we're taking a massive quantity of damage here. Like, actually, maybe unbelievable. If we die here, like, in this fight, I'm gonna, I, I don't know. I'm not gonna do anything, I guess, about it. I'll just be extremely upset. I mean, look, we're already taking 24 more damage here. What in the hell is wrong with these birds? They went insane. I don't have any, like, crowd control, man. No, no cleave, no potions. God, am I gonna die at the birds? Am I gonna die here at the birds? Hang on, I could double tap, rampage, strike, knock the bird down. I won't die here. But then I gotta kill these these two freaking birds. Because, you know, these two probably... Yep, both of them are attacking next turn. That's a zero freaking percent chance I kill these these birds, I think. I, I kind of... I kind of cannot believe this. This is... This is so bad. Oh. Well, I am gonna need a new map. This is not even... Yeah, I was gonna say, there's no way that's enough for, like, an unlock. Okay. Well, I mean, that's extremely painful. And you know what? I, like I always say, you know, I love leaving people on an extremely painful note. Um, but, you know, I was thinking in my mind, I was like, oh, it would be good to, like, get off uh, the stream, you know, like, fairly early. And then I was like, yeah, but when do I ever not stream for, like, two plus hours? Well, apparently this is the time because I can just fail, you know, two Slay the Spire runs back to back. Anyway, so thanks for watching. Uh, I really appreciate you tuning in. And even though, you know, I sound a little bit jaded about it, I do have a really good time. So I look forward to desperately struggling my way up the ascensions again in the near future. I will see you next time. And of course, if you want to get alerts, go ahead and follow me. See you all around. Bye.